Welcome back to all of this guys and today we're gonna show you how to get two of the best weapons in the Elden Ring DLC that are called the Sword of Light and the Sword of Darkness. Both of these swords have a really unique skill, one of which allows you to shoot laser beams and the other unleashes a dark cloud dealing massive AoE damage to the enemies around you. But you can get only one of these weapons per playthrough but there is actually a way to get them both at the same time but we're gonna talk about that in a separate video. But before we move on please consider subscribing to support our channel and help us reach 1000 subscribers. So with that out of the way let's begin. The first thing you need to do is to find the greater pots cookbook which will allow you to craft the greater furnace pot. And in order to get it, you're going to have to come to this location right here, jump down the cliff, go inside the burned house, and grab three items from inside. After that, you need to craft the hefty furnace pot by using the furnace visage you just got from the house, ember of mesmer, and red flesh mushrooms which you can get plenty of all around the map. But you also need a hefty cracked pot and after crafting the hefty furnace pot you need to come to the castle watering hole side of grace and if you haven't reached this location yet come to the main gate plaza side of grace and from there keep following this route. Once you reach the end of the route, you will notice a coffin at the end of the hallway. Just interact with it and it will trigger a cutscene where you get inside the coffin and fall down the waterfall. Once the cutscene is over, head outside and you will notice a side of grace. Activate it and then get on your horse. and keep heading straight and you will notice this giant fire golem who's just sitting there and blocking your path. So what you're gonna have to do now is to wake him up by using the hefty furnace pot that you crafted. So what you wanna do now is head to the back of the ruins and get on top of the wall in order to get close to the head of the golem. And once you reach the balcony, equip the hefty furnace pot in your item slots and throw it at the fire golem. Doing so will wake it up and what you can do now is either fight it or run past it just like I did and come to this gravestone right here where you'll find the stone sheathed sword. And now we want to go to the Rao Ancient Ruins rest point. And in order to get there, you want to come to the Storehouse Grace Point in the Shadow Keep and from there just keep following this route until you reach your destination.
Now that we're finally in the Rao Ancient Ruins west side of Grace, what we're gonna do now is head over to the Altar of Light. So from here, get on your horse, turn southwest and head inside the castle. And keep following this route until you reach the giant tower. Once you reach the end of the road, you will be able to spot the tower at the distance. Don't be concerned because there is an invisible bridge between you and the tower, so keep heading straight and as you can see you won't fall to your death. And once you get inside the tower, interact with the altar and you will get the Sword of Light. And if you want the Sword of Darkness, you're gonna need to convert it in the Dark Altar. And in order to get there, you need to come to the castle front side of Grace and from there, get on your horse and keep heading north. And once you reach the end of the road, you will notice a door, just open it and head inside the catacombs. And once you're inside, head down the elevator, and once you reach the bottom, activate the side of grace, and keep following this route until you reach the altar. And once you reach the altar, go ahead and interact with it and you will convert the Sword of Light into the Sword of Darkness. And after that, if you want to get out of the catacombs, just go ahead and follow this route which will take you to the boss of the dungeon. And once you reach the boss arena, go ahead and defeat the boss, and then use this spot to go back to the entrance. So, as always, thank you all very much for watching my video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment to let us know what you want to see next, and ring the bell icon to be notified about our latest videos. And I will see you next time on Holodisc.